Hey all desserts, welcome back to our huge Earth TSL starring Lenin. We are at a moment of peace. The World Congress has spoken and the world religion of Islam has failed because apparently no one really wanted it. Uh, except for the Garamantes, a bit from Scotland, one from the Boers, one from Benin, everyone else said nay. So it didn't pass. A natural heritage fails because no one voted for it, no one really cared. Okay, whatever. We have some city growth to take care of. First of all, Iskar. Iskar is growing as always very, very efficiently. Uh, so let's drop money and food. That works pretty good to me. Yes. Do we have anything else to queue up here? Yeah, you can go police station. Why not? Wouldn't be bad. And then we can also grow up what? Chimgitura is growing. Nice. Alright, let's do that here. We're growing a little slower now as we're starting to work. Nothing but lumber mills. I probably should really build those up into lumber mills at some point. Don't I have a worker up there that can do that for me? I probably do. Like you. You lazy bones, you can do that for me. Why don't you go up here and make me some lumber mills? One, two, three. Yeah, these two. Okay. Make a proposal. What can we propose? Oh dear. How about give me the chairmanship? Can we propose that? We do World's Fair, Natural Heritage Sites. Let's try Natural Heritage Sites again. World Ideology Order would be nice. Um, I guess people would be pissed for me at that one, but maybe I'll squeeze that through. Maybe I'll squeeze that through, actually. Yeah, I think it's a good time to do that. World Ideology Order, please. Thank you. Uh, we took care of that already. All right, now, Jeevan Kujikan ended Sugar, Robert the Bruce. Okay, we need to, some deals to Robert the Bruce ended, so let's get those back up. Hey, man. How'd you doing? Salt for 203, plus I guess maybe four, and we'll see. Probably gonna be three. It's three. Thank you. Okay. Can we sell other stuff? Benin probably wants our stuff. Tobacco and amber for maybe 14. Don't be childish. Oh, you're gonna give me 12? Seriously? You're gonna give me six GPT for that? Fine. He's just angry at me in general. I don't know why Why uh, the king of Benin is very, very angry at me. I don't know what I ever did to insult him. I probably said something. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, uh, Tonga and Sumer are now friends. Your agreement between Garbantes and Sumer. It doesn't really matter. Sumer doesn't have a lot of science going on that way, so no biggin. We're going to keep going around here, the Cape of Good Hope. See what else is going on in the Boer lands while we set up for the inevitable Monty Dow here. We are setting up our military uh, for obvious reasons. Don't want to give him a shot at anything. I'm going to scoot this archaeologist a little bit here in Malacca's land. This is not invasive, by the way. Uh, they're not considered military units for obvious reasons, so there's no problem about having an archaeologist here. I'm going to see if I can steal a little bit of something, something from there, but apparently there's no cultural heritage to be had. Okay, so like I said, we can't get out of here. Uh, we can't get through South America, so let's go here, through the ocean, through the South Atlantic, get toward Africa, and then spread up our caravels that way. You worker, what were you doing? Good God, I don't even know. I think I moved you away from here after improving all these tiles. Is this all we need to improve here? These are all freshwater farm type things. All that's improved. So your work is done here. These guys are working down here, so you're going to go up to B and fix stuff like every other worker is going to at this point. All right, first of all, you go over here, do that. You're going to come here and fix this road to make everybody move better, okay? Okay, pumpkin. There we go. That's better now. That's all better. And then we can start making that. I'm probably going to turn into a mine. That's going to get improved. Good. Okay. Slowly but surely. Great general. Stay there, great general. Because you are a great general. Okay. This looks like we finally finished improving all the tiles here that are worth a damn. Yeah, looks like it. Uh, at least whether they're worth anything to Toulouse. Opulon's doing fine, so you can just hang out here. And wait for a railroad to be discovered, which will be soon. Uh, and there's a new ally. Cool. All right, we'll see if we can get uh, world. We'll see if we can get Broadway first of all, and we'll also see if we can get World Ideology Order passed, because that would be a nice boon, in all honesty. Oh, uh, we almost have military science, so that's going to be Cav. That'll be cool. What needs orders, friend? Okay, you finished that. Uh, what can we do else here with you? Oh, we finished this mine, I guess. That mine is not completed. Let's do that. Next. That's why I love having tile yields, otherwise you never know that. Alright, there we go. There, there's the zoom I was looking for. And we're obviously going to head to replaceable parts shortly after this, so we don't get caught behind, don't get caught out um, scientifically. Those uh, 
funny little helmets on those great worms, which will give them great fighting power. And we're going to have levies. These are going to be the unique Leninist units. There, this is, we're not dowing anyone at this point. Wow, Hal has 106 defense. God, does he have, like, the freaking Red Fort or something? I don't think he does. Like, why does he have that much defense already? Scary stuff, man. Scary stuff, indeed. That's just a lot, a lot of defensive power. It's more, that's double what my cities have. What is he building? And I'm, I, guess I'm, I guess I didn't prioritize arsenals. And he is prioritizing defensive buildings for a damn good reason. He just lost half his empire. So I figure, I figure we can let him go on that one. I figure that's all right. Uh, I guess the Harappas are pretty angry at me. If you take a look at all these archaeologists they built and the fact that you can't archaeologize much since I stole half of it. <laughs> Whoopsie! I guess, you know, it's all part of political relations shtick, right? It, it'll all be fine. I'm sure it'll all be smoothed over over a couple of drinks and maybe, I don't know, some mining rights or some oil sales. I don't know. I'll figure something out. We'll keep them chill. We'll keep them all chill like that. Aluminum. Yeah, how's our aluminum heading? Because I know we're getting aluminum from Kizil and stuff. So that's part of our sourcing. I'm a little concerned I might have overbuilt the hydro plants. But we can also build recycling centers here. It won't be that bad. It won't be that hard in this case. So we'll be able to have some rocket artillery and then we'll save enough for a spaceship. Because I think if diplomacy doesn't work out uh, and culture doesn't work out, spaceship's going to be our backup and go-to. Uh, we're doing some good work pushing into Monty's uh, culture pool, but we're still not there yet. Obviously, the big techs are yet to be had with hotels, with refrigeration, and um, with airports. But, you know, we'll get there eventually. Refrigeration's not a key tech for me right now. I'm gonna get the land units first. I can't even buy submarines in B or any of my other coastal units yet. But once we do, then we'll have control over the seas that way. I'll just buy, like, two or three, and then anything comes in, it'll be dead. It'll be good. It'll be good. So, I mean, I may just recreationally at some point, because I don't think it'll be necessary to keep territorial integrity uh, intact. I'm probably going to leave the Chinese alone for a little bit, and I may go after Monty uh, just to kick him off of Japan. I don't like see... All right, aircraft here already. Now this is scary. Because he officially has aircraft capability. Okay, so Monty, as an AI, not only went rationalism, not only proved that he can go across the ocean relatively easily... He also brought aircraft to bear. Isn't that just a poop? That's terrible. We're going to need to get aircraft quickly. Flight is going to be a big priority. I don't know if I need to break off now. Instead of going for plastics, I may need to bulb out flight. Because without a couple fighters, I may be up the creek at this point. Holy crap. Uh, ideology adopted. Order. Nice. So the Garamantes are now on my side. They'll probably vote for a world ideology order. I like that. But Monty's definitely getting ready for an invasion. He's got four aircraft, probably more. Yeah, this is not going to be good. I need, I need flight sooner rather than later. As much as I want, um, sugar. No, 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 no. You're dead anyway. Sorry. Uh, I may, I may do that eventually anyway. But uh, horses. Want some coal? <laughs> you want some more coal? I'm sure you do, buddy. Right? You always want coal. You're like a. Oh, no, he actually wants horses. Okay, fine, we'll give you horses. No worries, man. We have enough to support our cavalry. There you go. He finally doesn't want coal. I've been selling him coal constantly. Yeah, I gotta reset my science priorities a little bit now. Flight's too important not to have. Because fighters will make this pretty much... I mean, it'll be easy. I'll just set fighters up in B and Dishi or Yangcheng, and then it'll be no problem. I do need to get that going, though. Ah, crap. Okay, I may have to even bulb a scientist early for this. I, I need flight quickly to dissuade Monty from going after me. Which is not great. I mean, we are cutting down the tech lead a bit. He's only six techs ahead of us now. Soon to be five from the, what used to be ten and nine. But now that Monty made peace with everyone else, he definitely wants to come up with us. Oh, did I just get a free unit from somebody? Because there's no reason that guy should have any experience right now. I'm not at war. Ugh. All right. So, yeah, we gotta, we gotta reevaluate our research protocols a little. We should be getting a research boost from our research agreements, too, relatively soon. They should be coming due in a couple turns. Let's see, five turns, four turns, yeah. Yeah, we got Broadway, booyah, and military science, good. So, we got a free GAT? Yeah, we got a free GAT, I guess. That's pretty cool. What happened here? Uh, tire election rigged. Good. Okay, we got all those riggings done. Um, free Gatling gun, goody. Let's put you in Moscow, I guess. Uh, open terrain. And double open. 
put you in Moscow. Thank you for your contribution. You're a great American, uh, great Russian, I guess, Soviet at this point. He's minus 82 happiness. That's good. We're going to be able to push even more out of him uh, shortly. We have massive tourism, though. Look at this. Aztecs are the closest one, but they're not even close. They have 254. We're doubling their tourism. We're getting even higher. All right. That might be pretty cool. So grab into an order. That's actually really, a really big, a really big help. Even for Almany, that's what happened. Kizil did stuff. Oh, what happened to Kizil? We're not big buds with Kizil. Hold on. Tang, another ally of Kizil. Yeah, that's not acceptable. 31. Don't you even start with me, friend. I will outspend you. Yeah, there we go. Tang, another Kizil. What's the other notes? Because this is annoying. They don't actually line up with what you want. Almady. Now friends. Okay, that was actually a positive rigging. Okay, good. We got a new musician. Let's get Guillaume de Machot um, to create a great work. Merci. Mess de Notre Dame. Beautiful. Let's see if we can get that a little more culturally positive. Where is our Broadway? We need works from the same era and civ. So Soviet modern music. We have Soviet Renaissance music. Soviet Renaissance music, Soviet Renaissance music. Oh, look at that. We have three Soviet Renaissance musics. I don't think I would have that, but okay, cool. Nice, plus three. Sweet, now we're 259. Booyah. Soviet industrial music, only house. Okay, go up here and <laughs> put you right there, okay? So we know what's going on. Cool. All right, so now let's look at our research priority because our steam power, yep. Okay, so we're going to put off... Appraisable parts for a second, though I don't know how wise that is, and get flight. That's going to be an absolute requirement. I am probably going to bulb a scientist for this. How much do we need to do that? We need 17,000, and we need about 23,000. Okay, so it's about 40,000 science. How much do we get for a bulb? Uh, Where are they? They are in Moscow, aren't they? Well, there's one in East Car. How much do we get for a bulb, buddy? 67,000? What? What? Are you serious? That's insane. 67,000. Dude, imagine how much more of a bulb it would be when we have research labs. All right, that's enough. Let's, okay. <laughs> Decision made. I'm bulbing it for flight. Screw this crap. I'm not even going to mess around anymore. Let's bulb it for flight right now. Go, 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 Nicholas Copernicus. Discover me some flight. I want to keep Nicholas around a little bit. Who else is here? Rene Descartes. Oh, they're still famous. That's someone I don't know as much. Okay, never mind. I kind of... I guess I'm a scientist, so I kind of know all these things. Okay, whatever. Nicholas Copernicus, go. Steam power. Beautiful. And we have flight in five. Oh, come on. You bulbed a lot more than that last time. Didn't you just say you'd bulb for 60? What was, what was that slowdown? Oh, was that part of my... Oh, my God. You have too many cities penalty? Okay, I bulbed one scientist. That's enough. Um, I don't want to bulb more. Then we'll go keep going up to replaceable parts after that. But five turns for flight's pretty much okay. I don't think he's going to start a Dow that early. And this way, we'll be able to buy whatever we need here. Okay, military Academy, police stations, cue that up. Brandenburg Gate, that would be nice to have as well. I wouldn't mind getting that wonder. It's not a high-priority wonder. Peter Grad, can we slow down the museum for a second and get Brandenburg Gate here? This will be great general peers and 15 experience for units built in this city. Yeah, but you know what? Look at this here. If we do it in Yangcheng and we buy aircraft here to cover Monty, probably really smart to have Brandenburg Gate here. All right, you know what? Let's do this first. Let's do Brandenburg Gate. It'll speed that out. Only nine turns. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised no one's built that yet, but whatever. All right, we're going to get uh, some cavalry. So let me get the rest of my guys upgraded. Where my knights at? I don't have that many at this point. I got a lot of them killed, yeah. only have three knights. But they are noble knights indeed. They're now cavalry. A lot of Lancers, though. We'll fix that. Okay, keep going. Keep viewing. I wonder if I can get Garamantis to down Monty to keep him busy. I think Garamantis will be able to put up a good fight. Uh, Perfume Robert Bruce. Yeah, we... Okay. Friendship was expired with Scotland and Tonga. All right, let's renew these real quick. So I don't... I need them on my side here. Friendship. Nice. Good. All right, that's important. Perfume. Yeah, I was selling it to you. So let's go all your money. And... I don't know. Let's try six, but I doubt it. I don't even feel like calculating this right now. Let's just keep going down the numbers till he accepts four, which is what I expected. Good? Cool. 
All right, I'm gonna get away from the wind here for a second, so I don't have to listen to that while I'm talking to the Tongans. Where are you? Hey, buddy. Discuss friendship. Yay! Oh, he's so friendly. I like him. Does he have only two cities? He has three cities now. Oh, you settled another one. Oh, good on you. <laughs> only 20 times more to go to equal Monty. That's just you know fun, I guess. That's so sad. All right, go here. Can't you go? Oh, you can go there. Good. I want to get out on this side of Malacca and see if there's something else I can steal. For now, you're gonna hang. Uh, you. One, two, three. This is workable. I'm gonna turn this into a mine. For sure. Caravellus, keep going this way. Kind of clear up some of this cloud. I'd rather know what's going on than not. And then we'll hit Africa on the way over. Good enough. Where are we now? What unit is this? Worker. There you go. Okay, you are doing that. Beautiful. So let's improve. Well, let's keep moving this way, I guess. Probably wouldn't mind to have a road here, honestly, to get people, men and materiel around a little quicker. Not bad. How many turns till this resistance? Oh, four turns. Okay, so we're almost to the point where he use these cities in some meaningful way, and that's good. I'm gonna need we need a lot of work on this. Once if Monty really does come calling in a big way, we'll see. Kharkov. Uh, Kharkov is here, still building hospitals everywhere. All right, this is fine. Very good. Uh, what else we got? Lukoidis Uh Yeah, work the culture. Sure, that looks good to me. Uh, May, hey, running out of things to work. We'll work that na later. You'll grow soon enough. The culture is nice. What else we got? Culture from Citadels. Gotta love it. It's that wonderful World Congress decision. Uh, work product? Let's do a little more work product. I think you'll be okay. And anything else? And then we're back to Kodka. Okay, good. So that's done. New decisions are available. What's that? Oh, we can do all these subsidized public transportation. Yeah, these are going to make us go broke at this rate. There's a thousand for each one. Uh, we can do them. For 20 strength, 20 population cities, we can increase gold and production output. You'll see what it does here. 15% uh, production, 15% gold. <sighs> I'm debating whether that's wise right now. Hermitage is in 10. When am I going to need to do plastics? I'm going to need to do plastics in about 10. No, probably not. This number's going to change once I start spending the backed up science I have. Okay, let's see. Let's keep the Hermitage going for now, but we'll... we'll, we'll Circle back when we need to. We need that anymore. So should I start buying these? In a couple places, I think is important. Moscow for sure. Get a little more production out of that. And we're getting more money this way. That way we can speed up the enemy That was the only main reason I did that. Pietrograd. Can we not speed up production in Young Cheng? We should be able to do in Young Cheng. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Let's get the Bren Brigade out a little quicker. Yeah. Eight turns. Okay. Beautiful. That's that's a good enough investment for now. All right. Let's go next turn. That's what Monty does in Dallas right now. Uh, repair. Oh, yeah, finish the mine. So not repair, just finish. Good, good. Are you finished? No, I'm Swedish. Uh, no, I'm not actually. But anyway, don't be Russian. Quit Stalin. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. The puns—they are too strong. Uh, but yeah, this is getting a little disconcerting with the amount of aircraft he's able to field. We'll have our own aircraft in five turns because we're definitely going to purchase some. Uh, in retrospect, I mean, not in retrospect. I think it's good that I. Subsidized public transport in Yangcheng and Moscow. That'll give me more gold per turn overall, but more importantly, production. It took one turn off of both the Hermitage and the Brandenburg Gate. And that's going to be nice. The important thing is to save enough cash now uh, to get fighters up where I want them to be. That's not a joke, because it was going to go into B. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. My brain is on like a pun mode today. I was like, do you want the fighter to be there? <laughs> Or I'm I'm sorry, that's just childish, and you deserve better. I'll do better next time, maybe. Okay, but yeah, right now, is Monty going to Dallas is the question of the day. Well, let me rephrase that. When is Monty going to Dallas is the question of the day. Because I'll have equivalent infantry as soon as I hit um, replaceable parts, but I need aircraft. And with fighters, I can deal with him. And with bombers, I can potentially even take the fight to him, push him off Japan, and take Yang... Uh, from him, in my empire that way, and we even be able to get to Mount Fuji, and that's pretty cool, because Mount Fuji's awesome. It's three gold, three culture, and three faith. It's a really nice, nice natural wonder. Uh, days I wish I had some on the terrain. I'm surprised that there's no, like, natural wonders in this whole giant space that I've been working on, but I guess, I don't know. Like, like, Baikal is in here, I suppose, but all of them are, like, in, in crazy places. Like, King Solomon's Mines, allegedly, is probably somewhere in the Middle Eastern. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> I'm not even sure it's on the uh, TSL map. 
but King Solomon's mines will be like in uh, in Africa somewhere up the north. Uh, you know, obviously Lake Victoria and all the other ones we know where they are. Uluru and Mount Sinai in the Middle East. Nothing in apparently. <laughs> there's no natural wonders in Europe or Russia is what was what basically just happened, or in China allegedly. That's kind of sad. Kind of thought I'd have a natural wonder by now. It's the one thing that's really missing from this empire is a couple of nice natural wonders, which is why I have to invade Japan. Totally legit, right? But that's also going to be nice, uh, really thinking about it. If it does come to war with the, or rather, let me rephrase that. I keep saying that, but it's a foregone conclusion. When it comes to war with the Aztecs, uh, pushing them off of Japan is going to provide me a strong base with which to push them even further over the ocean, because it's kind of like a barrier island to even going anywhere near my mainland. So they'd have to fight pretty hard to get through Japan. It'll be really easy just to set up a artillery slash aircraft wall, and they won't have a chance. Uh, that is assuming we can actually break through their defensive lines once um, they start making attacks on us. But yeah, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, the aircraft are getting stationed now. He's got bombers and fighters ready. So unless he decides to dow someone else, I need I need an air force ASAP. But like I said, we bulbed Nicholas Copernicus um, for that. As much as I hate bulbing scientists early without optimizing, uh, I think that was necessary just to get us that little bit of kick forward. Because if Monty was about my size, I'd say fine, we can just handle him. But he can really outproduce us, and if he can actually outfight us in the air, then it's game over. Absolutely game over. Oh boy, that's a lot of that's a lot of Chinese missionaries. Man, spreading the good word of Taoism everywhere. Greetings, comrade. Yes, very good, comrade. Yes, you're going to vote for that in World Congress, I hope. Because that would be wonderful. We can really tell Monty to piss off. But this is probably the first time I managed to dictate the pace of a ideology. I mean, we had so much tourism now that anyone who doesn't go order is going to be in problem. And that is really the, I guess, you know, in retrospect, that is the goal of the World Revolution LP, to spread the World Revolution everywhere. And it looks like order is becoming the most popular ideology in the world. And we're telling those autocrats and nasty freedom lovers to be like, no, 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 five-year plans, bruh. That's where it's at. Centralized planning economy, what, what? And yeah, I know it didn't work out well in real life, but this is real life. This is Civ. So it'll be fun. <laughs> it's pretty cool, actually, when you think about it. We are actually performing the world revolution right now. We're convincing everyone that order is the way to go. I like that. That's pretty cool. Thematically accurate. I like my LPs to be thematically accurate, and we just, we just did it in a big way, man. All right, Benin and the Garamantes are now friends. Good, okay, our alliance is growing, which means we'll likely have another order sieve before long. Did the Boers pick... I don't think the Boers had an ideology yet, or did they? Literally, honor, rationalism, tradition. I don't think they went ideology yet. The Boers covet my lands. I'll get bent, buddy. You're nowhere near me. You can covet all you want. Come on, covet my lands a little more. We'll see what my infantry and my military machine will do to you. Industrial era, my ass. Come on, dude. Don't even start. Don't you even be fronting, buddy. That's, <laughs> that's so funny. That's the last thing I expected to see when I moused over the Boers. And that's why he doesn't want to be friends with me. That's why he's being all neutral and stuff. He wants my lands. Okay, dude. Whatever, man. Uh, da. Uh, not Da. I was going to say Da Jing, but Kashlik has grown. Let's bring this here uh, and keep growing. Kashlik has grown. What else has grown? Is it really? Oh, Young Cheng has grown. Yeah, that's right. Everybody, Yang Cheng tonight. Uh, yeah, let's get some production out. I suppose it's probably. Oh wow, no, you grew there. Okay, there's double growth that I didn't, wasn't aware of. Uh, yeah, and keep the production on. Let's get the Brandenburg Gate out. The hospital will be done in a turn anyway, so you'll grow pretty quickly after that. And dodging, dodging did grow. Okay, that's what I thought I saw. Yes, good, but you're actually gonna go here to the public school. I know it's like seven production. Like why? Because I need you to do more science for me. Slow science for me. Uh, seven is going to be a lot of production. I'm going to get that tile at some point. But not yet. Not yet. Uh, so dodging and all three done. Good. New decisions? Yeah. So I can subsidize public transport like a boss. But, you know, I'm going to save that for my air core first. Incense to Kapak. Okay, we were doing a lot of good trades with Kapak. So let's do a little more of that. Hey, man. What? You lost the luxuries that I was trading you? Dude, I was counting on that for happiness and stuff. All right, so give me 720 for these. We'll be good, though. I ain't lose blood. All right, nice. So 2206. That's definitely enough for a couple aircraft. Uh, that's good. We're going to need probably three fighters and three bombers or so, maybe in two separate wings here. We don't need one on the west yet. There's no airborne threat here yet, and that'll be 12 oil. We need to steal oil from someone else too. 
Taking would taking Japan give me some oil as well? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Can we general bomb something here from? Didn't I see oil here at some point? I guess I didn't. Oh no, here it is. There's five oil here by Suki Kadandor, so we can always take that city if we want. I don't really want to piss on the Harappans right now, though. They've been kind of good, good shield friends. I don't want to anger them at all. I basically stole their, like I said, their cultural heritage, and they're like, nah, it's cool. I mean, we're angry at you, but it's kind of cool. It's fine. So I don't want to really piss them off too much. They've been pretty good, pretty good allies so far. So far. Uh, Cav is fine. Yeah, we're going to alert all our cavalry now, so that's another matter. Archaeologist. Can't get by Malacca yet. So we're just going to wait until these guys move out of the way. Just for a turn. Uh, you're fine there, buddy. Actually, get on the road. You're not on the road right now. Go on the road so you can move easier. Then we'll alert you. Worker. Finish that farm. Good. So Pietrograd 1, 2, 3 can still make another farm here, so let's do that. Make sure all this goes to Pietrograd. I don't want uh, Eri to be working these tiles. Um, but yeah, these are all Pietrograd tiles for now. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll get all these farmed up. It's not going to be a lot of food, but if we desperately need food, we'll be able to work it at least. Desert farms. Not cool unless you have Petra. Uh, Gatling gun, yep. You're walking in Moscow here. So eight turns till the Hermitage, and then we'll have... Yep, 14 turns there, and we'll be able to bulb Oxford for plastics. Bingo, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, that works out. Uh, yep, yeah, perfect. So, Military Academy after Oxford. Probably a police station after that, and we'll talk. Good. Caravellus, keep going eastward to that there land of Africa. And see what else is going on there, and we'll be able to scout out finally the Australians. They've been like a mystery empire this whole game. Uh, let's go here with you. No, let's go here with you, actually. Come here. Make a road after this. Uh, so we can get this rifleman in and out if need be. Let's set you up with a repair job, then we'll do the road in a second. Let's keep them lined up. Caravan, where were you going from Victoriacum? Uh, this is probably not one of those massive gold routes. Stop doing that. There we go. Going to Ur for 22. Yep, sounds good to me. It's good enough. Actually, hold on. Do any city-states, since so we're doing okay on gold, do any city-states really want a route? Oh, Riga does. Let's go to Riga. That's right. Let's keep them on our good side. They are in the middle of our empire, after all. So Riga, fine. 10 gold less per turn, but that's all right. Cost me 450 gold basically to do that, but it's okay. Rep is valuable. Benin and Garmanti's now friends. Benin's announced the Boers. Okay, so it looks like those two were allying against um, them Afrikaans speakers from the south, which is kind of a shame. Uh, it seems like the Boers really haven't done much. They haven't dowed or anything, so maybe they're just being really, really douchey or something. I don't know. Maybe there's some like weird public relations faux pas they pulled off, and now both Benin and the Garamantes are totally angry. It's highly possible. It's highly probable. All right, let's see. Does the Monty want a piece of this hot Soviet action right now? So hot right now. I don't know. He may. But as long as we have aircraft, we'll be okay. The rifles will be a little bit hard up to getting shot at, but I think with air cover from fighters, we should be all right. We are going to spend a pretty penny on this, obviously, and we won't be able to outspend Monty because he probably does have mobilization. But with the fleets of fighters like that, we'll be okay. And then we'll send all these cities onto producing bombers, uh, and then we'll be able to actually take the fight to him. So, you know, if he waits for about four turns, I'll be happy. Because then we could at least start providing air cover for our poor units. Before then, it may be a little tough. We may start losing uh, bits to attrition. We do have a lot of units with a good amount of cover. So that's, you know, valuable in and of itself. I'm, I'm concerned a little about my cannons, too. They're going to be a little flimsy if we don't have air cover. But that's all right. We'll make do. Monty, Monty, are you going to try, or are you still going to wait? Are you going to prep? I'd probably expect to see more of an air fleet here before he goes for me. Yeah, I'm probably going to expect that. What I'm probably going to do, I just understand my military planning, um, three fighters minimum, at least, and then we'll do an air wing, probably, of uh, city attackers, because we're going to do a lot of naval engagement here, and we'll be able to wipe that out with our double-shot gathering guns and our cannons, so that's not really an issue. I'll probably be doing uh, city attacks, and then I'll do another wing of fighters and of bombers that are land and or navy attackers. Probably land attackers, honestly, because the navy stuff will be cleaned up by any any submarines I will soon have, too. I mean, I'm going to get refrigeration relatively quickly, both for the hotels and for the land attack, so that'll be nice. And Chang'an is about to build a library here, and that's going to be important because... It's per citizen, per two citizens, right? So that's going to be another jump up in my science. It may speed this along just a little bit. 
And I'm slowly, slowly seeing uh, B become part of the Empire. Just a couple more turns, buddy. Very troubling. Resolve our differences. Dude, our differences have been resolved. I took half your Empire and now I'm imposing order upon the world. Don't you be starting. Wow, that's a lot of archaeologists. Oh my gosh. That is a pack of five archaeologists by Howl. That's hilarious. Why would you do that, friend? Silly, silly man. All right, well, he's spamming some archaeologists. I guess that works out. That's what the Chinese feel like doing. But Monty is here. Monty is ready. Monty's aircraft carriers. He's actually doing a remarkably good job. Like I keep saying, this AI is playing better than I expected Monty to. Monty's normally kind of a just kill everything, kill them all kind of AI. And he doesn't do well with like planning. But he went rationalism. He got a porcelain tower. And now he's got like naval ships coming along with military units. Like, dude. That's a strong AI. I gotta, I gotta be careful. Not as strong AI as in like thinking and learning AI, but you know what I'm trying to say. He's scary, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. What's up? I'm not downing the Boers. No, I have bigger problems. Literally, I have the biggest problem on the map. Uh, do we have extras of all of these? Yeah, we do. All right, that's fine, man. Can you give me a little better than that? Can you give me 12? 4 GBT? Still gonna be an ass, aren't you? All right, whatever. I'll take nine. No worries, I'm not using those luxuries anyway. <sighs> and the city states are moving. Losing grasp on Antwerp. I'm no longer friends. Okay, that's alright. I'm not too worried about Antwerp. As long as I'm not losing my allies, I'll be I'll be content. Make sure we have a strong voting block in the uh, World Congress. When is the next vote for the World Congress leader coming? I kinda wanna have that one locked down before long. It should be for the next era, maybe. When I hit uh when I hit atomic, maybe? That could be. Or when en enough people hit uh, modern or industrial, that could be it as well. All right, well, we're going to have to wait for that. And we're going to have to wait for that indeed next time as we prep slowly but surely uh, with our science mills running full tilt. Oh, we have another piece of oil here in Yang, so even more likelihood that I want to take some of these cities. Uh, we are prepping for the inevitable war with Monty. It looks like he's got an entire fleet here. And he's got an entire air wing here. We got three Great War Bombers here. Great War Bomber, Triplane, and a Triplane. He's got six aircraft. We're going to have to get ready to defend ourselves. We're getting there quickly. Our technology's ready in three turns. And then it'll probably be a glorious slaughter on both sides. Oh, it's going to be painful, but at least we'll be given the biggest guy on the map something to think about. That no one comes around here and messes with the Soviets. Ivan Nurse, I will see you all next time as we take the fight, probably to Monty, as he probably is going to get the fight to us first. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Till then!